Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Salt Lake Bees and the Round Rock Express. It's baseball on the show, and Ladies it's coming and up next. Yo, Round Rock Express. Now with the plate is Deshaun Knowles, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Hard hit ball to short. Throw on the first in time, one away. No one on with one down, and that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. Dexter. A 1-1. One -one. Looked at for ball number two. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on-deck circle. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. At the plate now is Mike Trout. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hard hit at third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's the second out. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Ready with the 1-1. Hit hard back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. That is it. The first base is 23. To the plate now, Matt Sice. A ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. That slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. This is skied into short left center. Here comes a left fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now into the box is Steel Walker. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, hey. strike two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And he fouls this one off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two. <laughs> Lifted in the air to straightaway center. On the move is Trout. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And now in the box, Anderson Tejeda, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. Digging in next, Eli White. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into center field, line drive base hit. Batting four. The third baseman, Andy. Into the box Andy. now, Andy Abanez. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, and no one will track it down. Misses, ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Hold 
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Okay. Well, this has been a good at that. He's now worked to count full the three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jose Rojas. He'll lead it off against Tyson Ross. <laughs> Launch to right field and deep. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. In now, Franklin Barreto. Hit in the air down the left field line. White is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now it'll be Mitch May. One run in and one gone so far this Mitch. inning. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Into the box, Chad Waller. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ross is ready. Here's the 1 1. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Now batting right fielder Deshaun Knowles. At the plate now Deshaun Knowles. And he turns on one sending it high and deep to right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The left fielder number 25. Dexter. At the plate, Dexter Fowler. All three and one now. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. Who thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And it's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious tee work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And he watches a cold third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up Sam Huff. The 1-1. High and deep to right center. Trout is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Next up, that number 83. He stands in for the first time in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two, two is a changeup that misses three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Knowles back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Ronald Guzman. His prior history versus this arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. That'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. A 
on a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. So one out and nobody aboard, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Now the one and one pitch. In the air now, out to right field. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Stepping in once again is Matt Sice. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Two and one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Ross gets the sign. I'll try to put him away here on two and two. Drilled to the right side. Scooped up. They'll whip Got this it. one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ryan Doro. The 2 1. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Trout is there, and he has it for the first down. Now in the box, a Swan Vieira. Vieira. The 1 1 home. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Steel Walker, 0 for 1 here in the early going. That's and a, a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. Count even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Out of the play, Jose Rojas off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Nope. And he lays ball off four. their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. The batter. And the next shot. up will be Franklin, Franklin Barreto. Barreto. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Swing and a shot toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Now Stepping in next, Mitch Ney team. struck out in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Anderson Tejeda. Here's the one and one delivery. Ground ball right side. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Digging in will be Eli White. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. The batter, the third baseman. Stepping Andy. in now, Andy Bonyas. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. To second for one. Oh. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ball 
all set for the start of the inning and now it'll be the catcher Chad Wallach. The one two. He swung on and missed he got him. So the lineup flips over and digging in Deshaun Knowles he doubled his last time through. Yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And then this is two and two. Too high ball three. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. In there a base hit. Throw into second. The tag and he is out at second. Into the box Dexter Fowler. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Two outs nobody on but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Ross is ready. Here he comes on two and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Leading off the inning it'll be Sam Huff and they could use a spark from him here. Here comes the one two. It's a wave and a miss he struck him out. And now here is number 83 comes into this number at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 1. Eight, two. High and deep down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Now another 1 2. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And now he scales the wall and makes an unbelievable catch. Now that the designated hitter, Ronald Guzman. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Oh, bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Jonathan Hernandez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 72. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Mike Trout. The 1 1 home. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at 2 and 2. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. He's one for two in the ballgame. The 2 1. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. The first base of the 23. Matt. Standing in now, Matt Sice. Nope, that's and this is low, ball two. Two and one. Uh, 
There's a swing and a miss. Says, oh my goodness. He loses the shillelagh on that one. Look out. The 2-2. Two -two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. In now, Jose Rojas. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Grounder down the line at third. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Now batting, the shortstop, Franklin Barreto. To the plate now, Franklin Barreto. This is foul right side. Ready with the payoff pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now so now here is Mitch Ney. He's hitless Mitch. in his two at bats so far. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. of the inning now and set to go is the second baseman Ryan Doro offense needs to get going right here you want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen so he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball Ryan Doro is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning and a full count now, three and two. Fell behind early in this one, 3-0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. And there's out number two. And stepping in, Steel Walker. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Popped him up. Nay is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Demarcus Evans is on attention. to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 67. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Chad Waller. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. So stepping in is Deshaun Knowles. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. Fastball, but he's losing one it a strike. bit here to three and one now. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. One of my favorite pitches in the game, right there the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Dexter. Now here it comes. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate and he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Digging in, the switch hitter, Anderson Tejeda. He bounced out last time up. 
one one takes a pitch for strike number two uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now to break out that nasty hammer right there this guy's on point and there's one down now now to the plate here is Eli White a couple of singles to his credit thus far here now the 2-2 two -two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With a three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big now inning. Batting. Got him swinging on the baseman. fastball there. Eli and White he. becomes the second he out at the bottom yeah. of the seventh. And he lays oh, off it to even the count two and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. But the throw is offline, and he's in there with two bases. Number 71 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Blake now, Sam Huff. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a three to one ball game. Now about number 83. Stepping in now, number 83. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Mike Trout not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. In now is Anthony Rendon. So far, two for three in this one. He's set. Here's the three and two. He loses him on ball four. Ready to take his hacks again. Matt Thice lasted a two run homer in his last at bat. The three two pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base the via the base on ball. And he fouls this one off. Ground to first. Can this be two? The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. AJ Ramos is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. One one is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Barreto's got it, and that's out number one. Up next, Ryan Doro. Over two man. for him to this point. Doro. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next to hit is Pasquan Vieira. 0 for two on his line thus far. Vieira. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. 
And the inning is over. Spencer Howard enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate here is Franklin Barreto. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that next Second it'll base. be Mitch Nay. He struck out swinging Nay. in his last trip to the plate. The three two pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Around second he's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Now the catcher, Chad Waller. At the plate, Chad Waller lofted in the air out toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And they'll tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a four to one ball game. Stepping up is Deshaun Knowles. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. Throw cleanly he's into out. first, and that ends the inning. Gerardo Reyes enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 63. So striding in to start the ninth is Steel Walker. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. One ball and two strikes to count. One and two. Just yep, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Stays alive, still two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. So next to bat will be Anderson Tejeda, grounded out in his last at bat. And the pitch on two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Try it 2 2. Pops this one up. Rendon moving to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So next to hit is Eli White, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a two out single. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Now batting third baseman Andy into the box. Andy Ibanez lifted down the line and left on the move is Fowler and he tracks it down and this ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game let alone on the road you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win but they did just that a four to one finish in this evening's game Salt Lake took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end Griffin Canning earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan, please act. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
our final line score. First for the victorious Bees, four runs on nine hits, no errors.